Then let's head over to Washington at Atlanta. And we're going to watch Taylor Heineke. He absolutely balled out here and got them their nice win. Um, we also have to shout out Terry McLaurin as well because some of the catches he was making were shoot. And I'm sure we're going to see those in Tyler, Taylor Heineke's highlight package. But if they miss one or two, we've got them all queued up. So no worries there. But let's see what uh, Taylor Heineke was doing at quarterback. Because he leads his team to 31 po 33 points? 34 points. 333 passing yards. And once again, remember, he wasn't the starting quarterback here for Washington. It was Ryan Fitzpatrick. And Taylor Heineke uh, would not be playing if Ryan Fitzpatrick was still healthy. So, once again, we don't really think the Washington football team made the right decision. But now that Taylor Heineke is out here, we can see what he's made of. And let's see. Is he impressive? Should he have been the starter right from the start? And if Ryan Fitzpatrick does come back this season, should... Uh, Taylor Heineke still be the starting quarterback? Let's find out because we know Taylor Heineke is fantastic. And we're definitely going to highlight his balls to Taylor Heineke because, uh, or Terry McLaurin, the T's, the T's, getting me kind of confused with the alliteration. But yeah, uh, Terry McLaurin is absolutely fantastic. Six catches for 123 yards and two touchdowns. Who, folks, when we see these plays, you will be mm, wowing. Uh, wowing like we just wowed on Justin Fields. But let's see what Taylor Heineke has here. Let's get his best plays. Here we go. First play, all righty, just a nice strike there on third and three. Knows where the boundary is, baby. That's what we love. Hey, going for the first down marker. We'll give you credit. Absolutely 100%. Picks up the first down. Fantastic. Here we go. Another third and seven here. Taylor Heineke, oh, stepping up in the pocket, and he's going to take some defenders. Oh, Taylor, this is not what we want to see. You dove like a yard short of the first down. Come on. Come on. If you're going to sacrifice your body, sacrifice your body. Don't chicken out at the last second. All righty, but this is still, okay, well, now we're in the second quarter. So Taylor Heineke's got to kind of get out to a hotter start and take advantage here. But here we go, second and six now. Play action pass, Taylor Heineke. Boom, settling down right there. 15-yard pass, picks up the first down, will take it. They still, we're in the second quarter, and they've got zero points, so we need Taylor Heineke to get out to a faster start, but still impressive, 34 points and basically only two quor or three quarters because he didn't score in the first quarter, not bad, uh, but let's see, once, if he starts gets getting going, like we just saw Justin Fields, not great in the first quarter, but he cleaned it up, he stayed the course, he took it in stride, he wasn't kind of the starter from week one, same thing with Taylor Heineke, even though he got, you know, in basically game one anyway, uh, but maybe, you know, getting rhythm underneath him, so. So we're not 100% off of Taylor Heineke just quite yet. Let's keep up these highlights. Here we go down the middle of the field to Terry McLaurin. And these are, this is one of the highlights right here. Um, this is one of the highlights right here uh, for Taylor Heineke. is a great throw right here. Let's watch this one one more time. Second and 11, dropping back to pass, going to Terry McLaurin. And man, oh, man, great hands right there. He takes a big shot as he's catching the ball, and he holds on. He's got strong hands. Fantastic. All right, here we go. Third and eight, driving into Falcons territory, going deep and boom. Oh, Terry McLaurin, fantastic. Heineke to McLaurin, baby. TT, baby. Here we go. Taylor Heineke launches uh, from his own 40-yard line, getting it about five yards deep in the end zone right here. So we can call this one 45 yards clean. Um, I don't know. It started to be... A tad underthrown. It could have been out there a little bit more. Nothing like that, like enough to critique truly Taylor Heineke. This is a fantastic ball. And well done by Tay, uh, Terry McLaurin to go up and catch this ball and not let it kind of come to him. That's what we love by wide receivers. We've got uh, a wide receiver later that we're going to watch that, you know, try to catch it in his chest. And you don't do that. You have to go up and catch it. So that's what Terry McLaurin does. A true wide receiver out here goes up and catches the ball very well. Thrown ball, great caught ball, and that's Terry McLaurin for y'all. All right, here we go. Still in the second quarter. They're down 10-7 to 7 now. Taylor Heineke, first and 10, rolling out of the pocket, maneuvering traffic, but he's going to take off here. And Taylor Heineke, way too conservative here. You know, I'm all about being conservative with these dual threat quarterbacks. I've got no problem, but this is way too conservative right here. I mean, he's sliding when he can just simply run out of bounds and pick up the first down. So let's, uh, you know, be a little bit more braver out there, Taylor Heineke. I know you don't want to get injured. I get it. I get it, but... 
you know, when we're looking, you know, a game of inches, and you know, you're being a little bit of, oh, now we get it. No, okay, Taylor, were y'all just, were you just trying to goof us a little bit on your first two runs? Because now we get it at the 30 yard line. He's rolling, picking up the first and weaving in and out and hitting out on the boundary and then going out of bounds and getting all he can. That's what we're talking about. That's what we want to see, Taylor Heineke. Once again, just needed to get a little bit comfortable in this game because now he is not looking back. We're in the third quarter. They got 19 points. He's going to Terry McLaurin again over the middle of the field. Fantastic. Oh, fourth and five. Can he pick up a fourth and five? Crucial down. Boom. Just flips it out there. In the flat, it's wide open, and he picks up the fourth down. Fantastic. That's what we're talking about, baby. All righty, now they're down eight points in the fourth quarter. Taylor Heineke, second and seven, long, wanting to launch deep, but then pulls it down and runs with it. That's when you can slide. That's a good slide right there. Okay, Taylor Heineke's figuring it all out, folks. Once again, you know, he's got no, this is like his sixth game, fifth game in the league. He's working on it. All right, here we go. And then here we go. Just rips it down the field. Boom. Great strike on second and 16 to find Terry McLaurin again. Yes, sir. Inching toward to try to tie up this game. Like we said, they're down eight points here. Four minutes left. Rolling out of the pocket on third and nine. Makes a great throw to there. Is that J.D. McKissick? Antonio Gibson or J.D. McKissick, number 41. Whoever it is, running back out of the backfield. Great catch right here. And well done by uh, Taylor Heineke to put that right on him. Ooh, and then a great move right there. Man, oh, man. I got to find I think that's um, I think that's J.D. McKissick. But let me just quickly take a look. Quickly. What number is J.D. McKissick? I got it. Yeah, 41. J.D. McKissick. He needed um, recognition on that one because that spin after the catch to pick up the first down, man, those extra three yards, that's crucial right there. That's smart, big brain IQ right there. There's some smart people on this Washington offense, folks. Fantastic. All right, still same drive, down eight. Taylor Heineke avoids the sack and then rips it deep. And it's a jump ball, and this is what we're talking about. Terry McLaurin, if you throw this ball, and then the swag by Taylor Heineke, the little pump. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did that. I escaped the sack. I threw up a floater in the back of the end zone, and it was caught. Yes, sir. Big play, Taylor Heineke. Maybe not the smartest, most advised throw to make, but... When you just got to make a play, you're down eight, four minutes left. You just got to try to trust your instincts and trust your weapons. And we love trusting your weapons. Another green flag for Taylor Heineke. Well done by Terry McLaurin to come back. Always track this ball. And man, oh man, the man is a true receiver out here, folks. Respect Terry McLaurin. I want to put him in A1 Tier 1 category, folks. All right, then, here we go. They didn't get the two-point conversion, so they're down two points here. Taylor Heineke needs a game-winning drive, and man, oh, man, on first and 10, he launches this ball 20 yards, basically, to midfield. Look at this throw. Standing cool, calm, collected in the pocket to deliver an absolute dime, and now we're rolling. A minute, 35 seconds left. They got two timeouts, so Taylor Heineke knows he can do whatever he wants with this ball, can go wherever he wants. Only down two points here, folks, for the tie. Three points for the win. They want a touchdown. Taylor Heine, uh, Terry McLaurin, boom. Once again, wide open right here on the boundary. Out of bounds. 20 yards. Fantastic. Adam Humphreys. Jeez Louise. Here we go. Third and seven from the 30-yard line. Third and seven. Taylor Heineke, what can this man do? Oh, look at all that time to throw. Look at all that time to throw. And then he throws back across his body once again to J.D. McKissick. And J.D. McKissick makes another great play. All the way in for the touchdown. Picks up third and seven. Picks up 30 yards for the touchdown. Truly kind of ices this game. Makes it so the Falcons have to go down and score a touchdown with four, 35 seconds left in this game and not settle for a game-winning field goal. Man, oh, man. Great job by Taylor Heineke to keep the play alive. And then J.D. McKissick showing out. In the clutch this entire game. Very well done to him as well. Jeez Louise. So, man, oh, man. Great offense here. Taylor Heineke can play. Terry McLaurin is an A1 tier one wide receiver. And J.D. Mc JD McKissick, folks. Yes, he's not the starting running back, but in he's a dual threat running back, folks. Absolutely. 44 yards and a touchdown receiving for J.D. McKissick. So, well done there. Uh, we saw all the plays that we needed to see by Terry McLaurin. So, that's fantastic. And, uh, man, oh, man, this Washington team, um, it's a tough division. I will say the NFC East. But uh, Washington, I think they are going to be tough outs for uh, the Cowboys, the Eagles, and the Giants. I don't think they win the division. But I think Taylor Heineke can play up to that level of making them a tough out. So, we can still buy this Washington team. The offense is great, folks. Well, uh, defense definitely needs to clean itself up. You should never be giving up 30 points to this Atlanta team I will say that uh, but uh, Taylor Heineke proves hey y'all can trust me I can put the team on my back and that's exactly what we want to see would Ryan Fitzpatrick win this game folks 
I don't know. I don't think so. Like we've been saying this entire time, you know, in the offseason when this was a quarterback competition, we really wanted to see Taylor Heineke, uh, you know, kind of win the starting job. But he never, we never really thought he got a fair shake there in Washington. And I just don't know if Ryan Fitzpatrick is that much better than Taylor Heineke. I don't think he's better at all. I think at most they're the same. So why not go with the younger guy that has a higher ceiling? Because we know what Ryan Fitzpatrick is. 50-50, a gunslinger that throws a lot of picks, doesn't win games. I mean, I'm going to go with the young kid that we don't really know that much about. And every time he's playing in a game, he lays it all on the line. So we absolutely love it. Uh, besides the rushing in the first quarter, that, was, that wasn't the greatest. But he got it figured out, and he ends up winning the game. Fantastic.